this illustration shows you how God intended you to see life, how your life was intended to be. Very clear when you look and focus, you're able to see clearly the plan God has for you and what what He has, what He has, the plan He has for you and His intentions in your life. But because of the challenges of life, your worries, your friends desert you, challenges, the different challenges that we face, they completely block your vision on what God wanted you to see. So when you check on this, you're not able to see, you cannot see clearly. Your, your, your focus, you lose focus on what you would want. And you thank God for the Holy Spirit, because when he comes through, he takes over, Start cleaning away the challenges, the worries in your life, and slowly by slowly, you're able to see, to start seeing more clearly. At first, it's a challenge to still see, but as you take on the word of God, as you pray, as you fast, as you study the word of God, that which you couldn't see starts getting clearer. You, you start seeing the plans that God has for you, the promises, and knowing that God is not like man that he will lie, they will, they will apply in your life. I'm not promising you an easy time. This cle cleansing and the cleaning does not come easy comes with pains. But once you're able to focus clearly, you know where to take your burdens and everything in your life becomes easier because you know that the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. He fights for you and you see in a clearer way with better focus. God bless and help you. Thank you. Praise God, in this illustration, we are being encouraged to add value to the body of Christ and not to discourage every gift that we have been given. The moment that we appreciate every gift that God has given us, we are able to minister to others and also to minister to ourselves for the glory of God. And the beauty that comes with encouraging one another, may it be the cleaner who is in that church, may it be the security person, and every other opportunity, it's an opportunity that is being given by God to serve him. It's not just a job. It's a great opportunity and responsibility for anyone who wants to strengthen the body of Christ. And we are called to encourage one another, to motivate one another. And the moment that every person contributes in the ministry, the church glows and grows. The church is strengthened and there is union and there is also joy. We can see the beauty that comes with encouraging one another in the ministry of God. And we are able to serve together and the fruits of our service to God are very visible and appealing. Also very beautiful. We can see the beauty that comes with unity in the ministry of God, in the body of Christ. The moment that we strengthen one another, see the beauty. But the moment that we discourage the gifts, the moment that we are not even pleased, we are not even eager to learn, to understand, who is gifted in this area, the one gifted in the other area. At the moment, we even become jealous of someone gifted in a different field that maybe we are not uh, gifted or maybe we don't have the strength in that area. We empty every gift. By that jealous, by that misunderstanding, we empty the gifts that God has given us and the church starts becoming weak and weak and weak, and the body of Christ becomes weak, we are not even able to unite again. 
tukadidimie katika huduma ya Bwana kwa hivyo wapendwa tusiwe mmoja wa kutoa Let's not be the ones who are emptying the gifts. Let be not the one who are discouraging those who have been called to serve in the body of Christ and the, let us not be the one contributing to the suffering of the body of Christ. May God bless you and help you.